We are all packed up and ready to head out on another pandemic safe camping trip. Yes. Are you excited? Yes, because it's our wedding anniversary and so we're gonna go and celebrate with a camping trip. We actually get a trip this year. Yeah. All right, let's go. One thing I've noticed is that immediately upon arrival at camping, Mel is hungry. So I think there's some kind of association between camping and food. What do you think? Oh, only good associations. <laughs> it's simple. Bread and butter, cup of tea, <laughs> banana. I'm just not hungry because I had a big bowl of oatmeal with apples mm -hmm. and flax and cranberries, walnuts. Mm -hmm. So good. Fire making attempt two with less help. It's a good thing we have that nice rock step there. I know, it's so perfect. We have a very big bamboo-like plant. So I've been to the backyard. They're super dry. I'm hoping they're gonna make good kindling. Much better than my last one, <laughs> I'd say. I'd, this is this is going good, but the the this bambooy stuff really burns fast. So Mel's out making the fire, and we're gonna have Mexican tonight. We've got nachos with cheese. We're gonna put on the fire and then some sour cream, and salsa and guac. Oh, it should be so good. All right, you got the nacho pack? Nacho pack going on the fire. Oh, nice and hot. It looks hot. She's hot. Okay, good. Campfire nachos I think are ready. Let's have a look. Check them. I can hear them sizzling. Oh. Nacho cheesy perfection. They're, they're bubbling. Thanks. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Whoop. They're very hot. They definitely have that charred <laughs> flavor on the bottom. A little bit of burnage. Banana peppers are a nice touch. Just waiting for it to burn down a bit so we can make some s'mores. Yeah. And I figured out the proper technique to get the foil onto the grate. Yes, and if you have no idea what he's referring to, watch our video from Chilliwack Lake. Oh la la. The way to get the foil on the grate and have it stay is you have to actually like rip it on the back so that little bits go up and around the grate and kind of hold on to it. If you just try to fold it over, it's not gonna work. Kind of push and rip the foil up and into the grate, and then it sticks. Great. Ha. Huh. <laughs> it's great. It's great. We're having eggs and hash browns for breakfast. <laughs> so we got these cool hash browns at Costco. I had first seen them on another YouTube channel called Slim Potato Head. They come in these cute little cartons and you open it and you just stick some hot wa boiling water in it, let it sit for a little bit, and then you have potatoes that you can fry up. 
Mel eats pre-breakfast while making breakfast. Now it's been 12 minutes. Just put the potatoes in the pan. I don't want to go. Oh, there they went. Yeah, those are kind of like relief. Utility sauce. Good for everything. Mm, these eggs look so nice. So if you're stuck at home due to the pandemic, we're trying to bring nature to you as best we can. Nature photographer. <laughs> trying to get the shot. Oh, it's definitely frogs mating. They're all going nuts. This is like the frog nightclub. <laughs> Listening to the sound is just so captivating. It's so, I don't know, it's just so interesting. We found a sign that tells us all about the creatures we've just heard and listened to. We thought they were frogs. Turns out they are western toads. And it's the time of year where all the adults come into the shallow waters of the ponds and they lay their eggs and breed and, um, and then those eggs will hatch into little tadpoles and then the adults will leave the water and go back into the forest. So yeah, it's neat. Something funny. It's like yum. I could want. I want a toad. Oh my gosh! Good family. Oh, good boy. <laughs> Was, was, it, was there things like that? Yeah, I told, remember I said, hey, they've got these everywhere. Mm. Yes, it's them. It stinks? They smell like pot. Oof. Oh, good job. So they have a bit of an odor that kind of smells a bit like pot. And when there's a lot of them, it smells like someone's smoking up. Here we are. Plant is called a skunk cabbage because of its distinctive skunky odor that emits when it blooms. Mm -hmm. See? There we go. Those are the whiffs we keep catching. Yep. The distinct odor attracts its pollinators, scavenging flies and beetles. All right, full speed back to the campground. It's wine time. Path through there. That's the way we came. Are we gonna go back that way? Wait, that's not the way we came. No, it's not. I don't wanna go back that way. I wanna go back this way. But it looks muddy. Let's go. <laughs> it goes up. All right, if it goes up. Got the hiking stick, we can go anywhere now. You have a hiking stick. Oh. Here's one for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, honey. That's so thoughtful. <laughs> This one, this one you could use. This one's massive. That's taller than you. <laughs> time for some wine, honey. Oh, it's wine time. Today's vintage is a 2019 hmm. Malbec from Argentina. We have not tried this one, no. but we gave a bottle to a friend. Oh, organic, which it is. It is organic. Yeah, this and is the one. it's got 90 points. So we'll see if so, it's any good. Yeah. Or if we gave them a terrible wine. Which hopefully is not the case. All right, right. well, 
Cheers to seven wonderful years. Cheers. It's good. It's a very unsatisfying clink though from the plastic glass. Yeah. But going camping, you kind of want the plastic glasses. That's a really nice wine. Mm -hmm. I think we need to go and buy more. You know what would go good with the wine? Cheese and crackers. Cheese and cracker appetizer. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll be right back. For our anniversary, starting with our very first, we decided we weren't going to give gifts, but instead always go on a trip of yes. some sort. Yeah, and so we are on trip number seven right mm -hmm. now. And so our first year, we were living in the Caribbean, and so we went to a neighboring island of St. Martin. Our second anniversary was to Chile. That was a really cool trip. That was really cool. Amazing wine tasting, <laughs> the desert, and third? What was the third again? <laughs> Our third trip, we were local. We went to Kelowna, BC. Oh yeah, that's right. I yes. That. And the fourth one? Yeah. Fourth one, we went to Whistler. Yes. That was pretty nice. Yeah. And uh, then the fifth one, that was our biggest trip yet. That was our once in a lifetime trip to Tahiti. Yes. Absolutely. That was, just, that was amazing. Absolutely incredible. The most relaxing trip I have ever, hands down, ever been on. Mm -hmm. We went completely unconnected from our phones. We didn't bring laptops, nothing. From the second the plane hit the tarmac, it was just magical. And it was good that we did that because number six yes. was pandemic. It was supposed to be to Hawaii. We had it all booked. We we're going to go to Maui. Yep. And uh, instead we had to just dream about it. In fact, we made a video about mm -hmm. it. We had a virtual vacation. <laughs> this year we're spending it in a beautiful provincial park, yep. which, hey, can't NBC. complain about that. Okay. okay. We're back. That's better. Way Cheese better. and cracker platter. Let me make space for you. There we go. Yum. Mm -hmm. Cracker cheers. Oh. Cheers. So, it's not Maui, but it's pretty nice. Very relaxing. Yeah. That's been the nice part. You even had a little micro nap this afternoon. Mm hmm. <laughs> reading, reading. <laughs> it's almost guaranteed. Put me in the sun with a book and I will fall asleep. So for dinner tonight, we are having Italian food because on our first date, we went for Italian food. It's gonna be a little bit different <laughs> than what we had, but that's okay. It's camp style version Italian food. You'll see. Oh, pasta's done. Tutto bene. So we found these in the grocery store. And it's kind of like your instant noodles and things like that. But it's Italian food. So we thought we'd try that for our dinner tonight. So we have mushroom risotto. And we have a um, fusilli pasta with tomato and mozzarella. Mm, garlic bread. It smells so garlicky. Let's have a look. Probably because of the bread. Ooh. Bread has garlic in it. Put more garlic on it. Ooh, garlicky. All, All right. right, so here's our dinner. Cheers, my cheers. dear. Cheers. Another cheers to seven great years and hopefully many, many more. Is it, that's supposed to be risotto, but it doesn't look... This is very watery. Do you think if I melted a bunch of cheese in with it? It might help, yeah. Yeah, let's just throw a bunch of cheese in with this one and you throw a little bit of cheese in with that a one. A little bit. So our first date, like we mentioned, was at an Italian restaurant in Waterloo, Ontario. I can't remember the name. Encino's and... Oh! And Ennio's. Ennio's! That's the one. I wonder if they're still around. It was just a really, really great night. I talked Jay's ear off. Basically, and that's how I knew he was a really good listener. All right, this is thickened up. All I right. think you can actually, I think we can have some on our plate now. Right. Oh, this actually turned out that a good consistency. Yeah, that though. one's a good texture, despite being soupy. Mm. Flavor is nice. Like I said, it's good for like an instant. Oh, yeah. It's no Enios, that's for sure. <laughs> well, let's but let's test the a, garlic bread. But for a campsite, it's pretty good. Mm hmm. Mm. A lot of people rolling in tonight. 
even on your anniversary, still got to do dishes. <laughs> All right, we've had our trials and tribulations when it comes to fire, but I've set up what is a combination of the log cabin style and the teepee style. And I think this is gonna light really well. Let's see how it goes. Stand back. <laughs> oh no, there goes our tin foil. Yeah, our tin foil is the best <laughs> And it's gone. Look how it's blowing the foil. A bit ashy. Oh, popping. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> See? I was not expecting that. When those bamboo, like when the heat traps in like one of the joints, it's like destructive scary. <laughs> that was an explosion. <laughs> Yep, I think it'll live. So on our way here, we pulled into the park and looked at the info sign and a little Jeep pulled up beside us and kind of waved and we're like, oh, hi. They're like, hey, your hatch is open. We're like, hatch? Oh, okay, thank you. Kind of looked at the trailer and our garage hatch had been left open for the entire drive. <laughs> and two pretty amazing things. One, nothing fell out. Two, this magnetic little block actually held the entire drive, which is amazing. I thought it would have fallen down. So that's something we have to be a little bit more careful of. So this has just been an amazing trip. Yes. So relaxing. Very relaxing. Two days felt like four. It was just really <laughs> nice. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and what else? Hit, Hit that, that notification, notification bell. bell. Don't forget that one. <laughs> <laughs> and in the meantime, keep, keep on, on living, living the life, life you imagined. imagined. I'm so afraid. Ew, ew. Oh, 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 oh. It's not good. It's not good. The 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 nose knows <laughs> that those are stinky. It always <clears throat> it always looks like <coughs> it always looks. <laughs> what if I go like this? Actually, that's better. <laughs> Chopping wood? <laughs>